Hey everybody, my name's John Farron. I'm a realtor with Home Smart Lifestyles right here in Queen Creek, Arizona. And today, I'm really excited to introduce you to the Grove series of homes here out at Madera, which is a brand new TriPoint community here in Queen Creek. So currently TriPoint is the only builder in this Madera master plan community, but there will be more coming a little bit later. So currently, uh, TriPoint here has three different series of homes, and today we're gonna focus on the Grove series, which is the first series. Now, I did do a video several months back that kind of gives you an overall view of Madera in general, and if you'd like to see that, feel free to check out this video right up here. But today we're kind of doing an update to that and focusing in on uh, the Grove series of homes. In that original video, there wasn't any pricing released yet, there wasn't any models, really wasn't much to look at, but all of the models for each three series has just recently opened. So today is the Grove, and then you can rest assured that in the coming weeks, I'll be back out to hit the other two series as well. Now, before we get too far into this, a couple of housekeeping things. One, sorry for the sunglasses, but it is sunny Arizona, and I know a lot of you are probably sitting in a snowed in or iced in locations because it is January, but we have a lot of sunshine here. The other thing is there's a lot of traffic, a lot of cars coming and going from these model homes, checking them out. So there's gonna be a lot of background noise. And third, you may find uh, a lot of uh, airplane noise as this community is in the flight path into and out of Phoenix Mesa Gateway Airport. All right, with that out of the way, let's move along. Now, as a brief reminder, Madera is a master plan community that sits on 316 acres south of Queen Creek Road between Signal Butte and Meridian. And there's gonna be a total of 899 individual home sites here when they're completed. Now, I don't know how they came up with 899 instead of an even 900, but I guess it just is what it is. As for TriPoint, the new community here is gonna offer 266 home sites with three different collections of homes. And so here in the Grove series, there's five different floor plans to choose from. Three of them are single story homes and the remaining two are two story homes. These homes will range in size from 1,880 up to 3,267 square feet. And they'll have between three and five bedrooms, two to four and a half bathrooms and either a two or a three car garage. Now in the Grove series here, there's 105 different home sites and the typical home site size is about 6,000 square feet. Now of the available floor plans, they only have two of them actually modeled here on site and that's the Juniper and the Willow. So I think what we'll do is we'll take a tour of both of those first, walk you through and show you how they are. And then we'll circle back around and um, give you an overview of the remaining three floor plans. So we're gonna start off with the Juniper, but as you go inside, remember these homes are models. So they're highly upgraded, sometimes to the tune of $100,000 or more. This is a three bedroom, two and a half bathroom home with a flex space and a three car tandem garage. Now it has 2,222 square feet of living space and it's base priced at $523,000. Now this floor plan does have some flexibility to it. So you could take away some garage space and maybe add a fourth bedroom or a den as well as there's a few other options too. Now, as soon as you enter, you're met with a long hallway that leads to the kitchen and the great rooms and immediately to your left or right, depending on the layout of your home, there are two bedrooms and a full bathroom. Now, as you move further into the home, you'll find that open flex room and it can be used as an office space, a music room, a playroom, really pretty much any way you might wanna use it. And directly across the hallway from there is the laundry room and a half bath. But in the case of the model here, they went ahead and did the option of a fourth bedroom with a full bathroom. Now the kitchen, great room, and dining area, they all combine to form uh, one open living space. And the great thing here is that even if you are on kitchen duty, you still are a part of the action while entertaining guests. Now some of the standard features of these homes include stainless appliances, a 30 inch gas cooktop, square panel cabinets with 42 inch uppers, and a granite countertop. Now this is a split floor plan, so the master bedroom is at the other end of the home, providing some privacy as well as some peace and quiet. Now the master bathroom comes standard with executive height vanities with cultured marble countertops and these dual integrated oval sinks, as well as a separate shower and soaking tub. All right, so the other model is the Willow and that's the two-story home. So let's go inside and have a look at it. At 3,267 square feet, 
this is the largest home in the series and depending on the configuration it has four or five bedrooms two and a half to three and a half bathrooms and a three-car garage now the willow is base priced from five hundred and ninety eight thousand dollars upon entering you're met with a nice open living space to include a den the dining area and the great room now in this case, the den is open, but there is an option to actually enclose it and add some double doors. The kitchen, it's open and roomy, and again, the model is highly upgraded, but the standard features here are actually pretty nice. They include the stainless appliances, a 30 inch gas cooktop, square panel cabinets with 42 inch uppers, and a granite countertop. And if it's your turn to do the dishes, you can still watch TV with everyone else. Now moving upstairs, you're met with this nice open loft, and this is really a great place to get away and do some quiet reading, or maybe even just watch your own TV show while everybody else is downstairs. Upstairs is also where you find the three secondary bedrooms, as well as the laundry room. Now you'll love the master bedroom with all of its windows and natural sunlight. And again, the master bathroom comes with those executive height vanities, with the cultured marble countertops and the dual integrated oval sinks, as well as a separate shower and soaking tub. Oh yeah, and don't pay any attention to that guy in the mirror. So what'd you think of those? Pretty nice, right? You know, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I read and respond to every comment. So also, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, give it a like. Feel free to subscribe to the channel so you'll be notified every time a new video gets uploaded because you wouldn't want to miss out on any great content like this, right? All right, so the three remaining floor plans are the cedar, the ironwood, and the mahogany. The cedar is the smallest home in this series, coming in at 1,888 square feet. It's a single story home with three bedrooms, two bathrooms, and a three car tandem garage. It's base priced from $495,000. The Ironwood is next, and this too is a single story home. This home is 2,083 square feet, and depending on the structural options you choose, it can have three or four bedrooms, two and a half to three and a half bathrooms, and a three car tandem garage. The Ironwood currently starts off at $513,000. Oh, and that reminds me that the pricing and the information that I give you in this video is current as of today, the day the video is being recorded. Tomorrow, it's a new day and lots of things can change between now and then, so just keep that in mind. All right, so now let's take a look at the last floor plan and that's the mahogany. The mahogany is a two-story home and it's base priced at $565,000. This home is 2,794 square feet, so it's just short of 2,800 square feet. And depending on the configuration, it can have three to five bedrooms, two and a half to four and a half bathrooms, and a three-car garage. Now, just like the Willow, there is an open loft upstairs. And again, all of the bedrooms and the laundry room are upstairs as well. So there are a couple of things to be aware of. One is I've already talked about the, uh, the overhead air traffic, but moving on to the other things, TriPoint Homes is using a waiting list, or as they call it, a priority list for their home site releases. And they're releasing about four to six lots at a time. Now, one thing I found is that not every lot gets picked up during these releases. So from time to time, there actually are lots available on a first come first serve basis where you can walk in and purchase a home right then. Now, in addition to the base price of the home, in most cases, there will be lot premiums as well. And these uh, premiums can vary depending on the size and the location of the lot. There's a $5,000 earnest deposit that's due at contract signing in the Grove series, as well as another deposit equaling 25% of your selected options. Now, they currently have 10 spec homes under construction, but you can also build your own home from the ground up. You should expect a 12 month average build time and the HOA fees here are $93 a month. And as this community is developed, there will be a luxurious community pool, parks, play areas, pickleball courts, and a rec center. Now, as you can see, here's one of the little play areas that's being developed and just over here to the left, out of the camera shot is a basketball court. And you know, I try to bring you the feel and flavor of each of these neighborhoods, but really the best way to experience them is in person. So if you're working with a realtor, and as I always say, you should be, your agent needs to accompany you on your first visit to these models or really any other models. 
Otherwise, there's a good chance your agent won't be allowed to assist you during the build process. Now you'll be working with the sales rep, but you won't have your own personalized uh, representation as you go throughout the build process. And let's not forget that the sales rep is actually an employee of the builder. So just kind of keep that in mind. Now, if you are considering buying a home here in the Queen Creek, Santan Valley area, or really anywhere in the Phoenix metropolitan area, and you think that you and I might make a good fit, well, then I invite you to call, text, email me, however you're most comfortable communicating. Uh, because when it comes to buying and selling homes in the Southeast Valley, I've got your back. Now, there are two more series of homes here, and I anticipate doing videos on each one of them in the very near future. Now, I've actually been inside these models, and I think you're going to like what you see. And one last thing, you know, they always say is location, location, location. Well, this TriPoint community is in Queen Creek. TriPoint has another community in Gilbert called Waterston North that they've started forming a priority list for. Here's a little secret. They have the exact same floor plans at Waterston North that they have here in Queen Creek, but their base pricing is almost $100,000 more over there in Gilbert. So, same product. I think Queen Creek's actually a little nicer. So you might wanna keep that in mind. Anyway, that's all I've got for you today. Thank you for watching, and I can't wait to see you in the next video.